The transformer is another tricking slash breakdancing sort of transition. What it looks like is this. So it's very similar to the scoot and it also uh, works with it very well in combination. First thing you're going to do is bring your arms out to the side, begin a little wind up, so chest over to the right. The next step is to replace your left foot with your right hand. Also, as you're doing it, you're going to take off with your right foot. So you're going to go out to the side in the wind up, coming down, right hand to left foot as the left foot is getting taken off. And then also you're going to take off your right foot like that. This is all quite awkward in slow motion. The next step will make a lot more sense. Next, you're, you've already replaced your left foot with your right hand. The next thing is to replace your right foot with your left hand. So here, coming down, left foot replaced by your right hand, about to take off with your right foot. To do so, you're gonna jump off of it onto your left hand, like that. Show you from the side. So I'm here, winding out to my right. The right hand is replacing that left foot. Also taking off with my right leg, putting my left hand down on the ground, also facing backwards. All this is gonna look like at the beginning is probably that. So this thing here, placing like that. You can build this up by spending as long as you can on the first right arm. So when you come down onto it, you wanna push onto it and hold for as long as you can, even with both feet in the air. So like this, coming down, hold, 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 hold. Left hand comes down at the very last minute. So the left hand is more for a final stability uh, than it is to keep weight on it throughout the move. Show you again, here, arms out, winding, here, hold, 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 push at the last minute. Again, with the transformer, you want to, even though you're taking off of your right leg, the first leg to land is your left. So often I think it's easy to go down and to sort of kick up into like a handstand. Try to not do this and instead think lift up with your hips, sort of lift up with your bum rather than kicking your heels up. So instead of going like this into like a handstand, think push up like that. So you're going here, push up with the bum, feet are sort of down in like a pipe position. To start off, simply just do a 180 spin. So you're here going replace, replace like that. As you get more comfortable, you can try and increase the spin gradually. Eventually, maybe you could even do a 360. So you're here. As you may notice, when you rotate more, you might have to take your weight off of the first hand because there's only so far around you can rotate on one wrist, if you know what I mean. Uh, you're limited by your actual uh, bones. The next thing, once you can do the transformer, what we're gonna try and do is link it to the scoot. So we're gonna do the scoot from here and down, round, landing left foot then right foot. From this position, we're already in the right place and we have momentum already going that way to just begin the transformer immediately. So left foot lands, right foot lands. I'm already turning like that. So slightly faster from the scoot. Go here, scoot straight into it like that. 